All right guys, how are you doing well? So, quick little video today. I wasn't really planning on filming this, but I've been having a little bit of success with this, so I thought I'd show it, and that is gonna be this mini Texas rig I've got set up. There's a wasp landing on my hand, that's nice. <laughs> but seven centi six centimeter finesse fillet worm, purple smogless color, size four weedless hook, and a three gram bullet weight. Super small, it's way smaller than I normally go for a Texas rig, but it's been working really, really good, so. I'm going to do a few casts, I'm going to show you a few perch, hopefully anyway. This will be a nice little rig when you need to fish weedless. You need to fish on the bottom, you need to fish slow, but they're not taking big baits. You need that small bait to get them to bite, which some, some days that's the move the perch are in. They just don't want a big, big presentation. They'll go straight on it then. Just catching small ones, but you do catch big fish this way as well. But uh, there we go. Especially if you're going for numbers as well in somewhere that's really, really weedy. This little 15 centimeter guy there, but yeah. You're going for numbers, go for that finesse presentation. Get yourself a little mini Texas rig set up. These little finesse fillet worms are like some of the smallest TP lures that I've actually seen, so they work super good for this. Floating, stretching, last a long time, and you get a really good hookup ratio because they've got such a thin body shape as well. See if we can get another one next cast now. There's another next cast. <laughs> I took it like near the end of the cast, but same size. Ooh. Two and two casts right there. Ooh, slightly smaller that one actually, but yeah, it's working. Let's see if we can get three for three now on this. But such a good little way to rig if you're somewhere snaggy, like I say, and you need weedless presentation, but you want to fish small, give this a go. Super small Texas rig. Oh, bite straight on it then. Oh, that's a better one. That's is that a pike. It's a better fish anyway. Yeah, it's a lot of pike that. <laughs> Not what I was expecting then. So obviously targeting the perch, but little dudes like this, I'll take it as well. Has been hit by a bigger pike by the looks of things, but yeah, nice little fish. I'll take that all day. Pop that hook over him. It's actually the second little bike I've had on this lure today. Really strange, but they seem to like it. Another cast over there. We've got really low, it's like tide all this bit of river that I'm on. So we've got really low tide at the minute, which makes things very difficult, but finding a few deeper pockets with some fish held. So that's what we'll keep targeting. There's one. I took it straight away then. Slightly better fish, I think. If it's a perch anyway. See that there. Beautiful perch. Such a nice pattern on these fish here. But yeah, nailed that. Getting put back. Hopefully they keep getting bigger. But yeah, three perch now. One little pike. Ooh, nearly. But yeah, I'll take them. We've been fishing nine minutes now, by the way, just so you know. That's how long when I switched the camera on nine minutes ago. So we are catching fish quick. A couple of small perch, medium sized one, and a little pike as well. Not bad for 10 minutes fishing. Just trying to fish this quite slow on the bottom as well, but not like mega slow like you would in dead winter. Obviously it's only October now. So it's doing a few twitches, letting it drop, a few twitches, letting it drop. Just repeating that. Faster twitches, slower twitches, stuff like that. Just mixing it up a bit. Just wait until something starts looking on it and get a strike like that there we go perfect time in there oh popped off that wasn't too bad either that one but uh, as you can see that worked just didn't get quite good enough hooks out on that Quickly go change this camera battery and we shall catch some more fish, most definitely. Ooh, that was a nice bite then. Real solid single bang. Fairly small perch, but it took it nicely. We try get down to the water's edge a little bit without falling in anyway. And See if I can show you how much they work in the lure and stuff like that. There we go. Another little 
bigger. Bites are less frequent than they were before, but they're really confident bites when I'm getting them, so that's always good. Let's see if we can get a few more, but still trying to get a bigger fish, but it's a lot of fun catching loads of small ones on this. Oh yeah, that's a fish. <laughs> Come on, baby. Well, it's not as big as I first thought on the hook set, but it's a quality fish. Oh, easy go. That's a nice perch. <laughs> I'll take that all day. Seven centimeter finesse fillet worm on that Texas rig. Boom. You can see, quite well hooked to be fair that. Oh yeah, <laughs> took someone hooking that perch. Like I say, it ain't a monster, but I'll take a fish like that all day. It's been a grind to get better fish today, but that's a beauty, so we'll get a put back. Did a nice butt slide back down to the water then, but <laughs> didn't drop the fish, so that's all good. Got the, uh, yeah. Purple smog, same rig I showed you at the beginning. Three gram Texas weight, size four offset hook. Boom, finally got a decent fish. So we're gonna keep fishing now, I'll try to get some better ones again, but well after that one. Like I say, probably a pound and a half, something like that, but from what I've been catching, quality. So yeah, stoked. Ooh, another one. Come on, guys. Still getting plenty of bites though, so it's all good. Oh, that was a cool bite then. Sort of ran with it towards me a bit that one. Pretty nice. Small guy again. Alright guys, probably gonna call it in a minute. I was planning on filming for like 30 minutes for this video to be fair, but I've been here for a while. So I've been catching a lot of fish. Having a lot of fun and literally I've used the exact same lure and rig the entire time I've been fishing. Uh, and yeah, it's been catching fish like non-stop, it's been really good. I only had that one decent perch, but yeah, it's been a good session. So make sure you give the little finesse Texas rig a little go. Definitely works, or I probably have proved in this video. It's a lot of fun, especially when the fish are tuned in on the small stuff or they're just a bit pressured and then just not keen on taking bigger lures like a lot of perch are these days. Try the finesse um, Texas rig. A little bit of a different presentation. So what they might be used to seeing, that's a stick. <laughs> Thought I had what well I was doing the outro then, but it's a stick. Hook up rate on that is superb. Three gram tungsten weight. Tungsten is essential. You don't want to use lead or, well lead's illegal anyway. Um, but like brass ones and stuff like that are just, yeah, not good. So make sure you get tungsten. It's a little bit more expensive, but it makes so much difference to your fishing. You can feel the bottom so much better when you're using tungsten over lead. There's another pie then. And we got it. <laughs> anyway, we're still catching fish. The camera's super wonky. I didn't even realize it until now, but. Decent size one. The average size hasn't been too bad to be fair, like the first couple we caught were really tiny. But um, yeah, that's like the average size, like 20, 25 centimeters, something like that. Decent fish for sport anyway. 
not for like trophy fish or anything. Get our back. We broke off. But we caught a lot of fish. We had fun, so like I say, make sure you uh, try the mini Texas rig. Three gram tungsten, depending on the depth obviously. Size four weedless hook. And then seven centi uh, six centimeter finesse fillet worm. And then you set. Catch a lot of fish, have a lot of fun. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Some of the views gonna be linked in the description. And yeah, catch you guys next time.